everybody. What's going on on this Thursday night? Thursday night football, I wish. Thursday night hockey, the Kraken and the Wild are finishing up their game. It's 4-3, 23 seconds left. What's up, what's up, what's up? Avalanche, last game of the regular season against the Oilers. Last game for everybody. The East playoffs uh, for NHL is already set up. The schedule is out there. The first game, that is. Um, and we should get the rest of the schedule for the West either late tonight or tomorrow morning. The sooner the better. I want to know when the Avalanche are playing. I'm hearing that the Avalanche are playing Sunday. Sunday and Tuesday. I think that's what it is. Sunday, Tuesday, or Sunday, Wednesday. I think it's Sunday, Wednesday. Something like that. But we'll find out late, late tonight or tomorrow when the schedule comes out. All right, the Kraken beat the Wild 4-3. to three. What's up, what's up, what's up? Let's say hello to everybody in the chat. We had JJ here before, Daniel Barry, Giants fan, Samuel Dallas. Who else did I miss? Jimothy. Get ready for tomorrow. Back to school. Hope you enjoyed your day off. Back to work. It's just like a, it's like a two-day work week with three days of testing. Um which uh, they only had to come in if they had to take the tests. 89 points from a car in the season, second among NHL defensemen. That's pretty sweet. Pretty amazing from a car. Hopefully the uh, Avalanche can uh, destroy the Jets in the playoffs. They don't have home ice, but they'll start off on the road in Winnipeg. But we'll see how they go and, and do going into the playoffs with tonight's game. Uh, hopefully get back in their winning ways because they did not play well the last uh, week or so, sad to say. NFL draft, baby. Yeah, Thursday. I got to see if I'm going to stream that first round. It's possible. I got to see the Avalanche schedule. Um, but I might just do like a watch party for the NFL draft. I'll watch the draft and hang out with you guys and just chat about the stream. If that's what I'm doing. But I'll find out tomorrow what I'm doing for that Thursday. It'd be nice to just chill and hang out and watch a draft for you guys and just uh, have some snacks, talk about the first round, talk about your teams, and just chill. So we'll see. We shall see. We'll find out tomorrow. We'll figure it out. Figure it out tomorrow. You're going hiking in the mountains tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Two places. Good stuff there, Cameron. What's up? Cameron joining the party. Man, the last five games, he had the average of 1 3 and 1. Pow. Brutal. Brutal. They got Georgiev and Nets. All right. All right. Get those reps in, Georgiev. Get those reps in. 38 18 and 5 record. 3.02 goal against average. 0.897 save percentage is not that great. Not that great. Got to get those numbers up, up, up. Yeah, the draft is 25, 26, 27, but I might cover the first round. I'm thinking about doing the first round, and, yeah, uh, I'm not going to do rounds two and three and four, five, six, seven. Uh, that I can't do, but the first round, got a little bit of knowledge of those uh, players, and it would be nice to see where, where the rookies go, see what craziness happens with trades and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. So I'm leaning towards doing that since I don't think the Avalanche are playing. I think they're playing Sunday, Wednesday. So my guess Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, something like that. But I got a couple of autographs from some Avalanche players on some pucks. The first one I got is this little guy. Who knows who that is? Who can tell me which autograph puck this is? Who's got it? I'll give you a hint. It's an Avalanche player. And I mentioned it on stream. This is one of them. But I got this on Tuesday. This is my Tuesday puck. That is my Tuesday puck. Number 20 on the avalanche, as you can see. I wish. I wish, Dan Studio. I wish he was doing a signing. I would get him in a second. Probably a lot of money, too. But... 
Yeah, if he did a signing around, I would get a few things signed. I'd be like, sign this stick, sign this puck, sign this mini helmet. But that's what I'd have to do. All right, maybe not all of those. Maybe, maybe just two of them. Because that's pretty intense. Pretty intense. So that's one everybody know it is. It's not Joe Sackick. It is not. I wish it was that big of a player. This is not a super huge player. Good piece to the team, but nothing crazy and amazing. But met him on Tuesday. Got his, got the puck signed by him. Pretty cool. Cool little uh, signature as well. Ooh, Brett Hall rookie. Um, no, this is a uh, Ross Colton. Ross Colton. Colton puck. That was Tuesday. And then Wednesday, this is the one I got. Got this little guy yesterday. Oh, let me fix the uh, the screen. It's just about time. What the heck is it? Hold on. Screen being stupid. Okay. Am I behind on time? No, I'm live. Come on. They're a few seconds ahead of me. And then this one, they wrote 20. Uh, he wrote uh, Countdown the Puck Drop. Why am I so far behind? They got 34 seconds to puck drop on here. 22 uh, Stanley Cup champs. And that's the Lekkonen. That's the Lekkonen puck. So those are the two pucks I got signed Tuesday and Wednesday. So I got those two, and I got Cogliano, and uh, uh, and then these are the two I got this year. Cogliano and Logan O'Connor. So now I have four. Four pucks on the current team. I'll show them again a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, I am on real time. Let me see. All right, so face off, here we go. Now we're live. I think it was 10 seconds behind. What up, what up, what up, Marshall? What's happening? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Game underway, last game of the season. What's up, Marshall? Welcome to the party. <laughs> and last home game. So last game on altitude, I believe. They'll be showing the playoffs on uh, ESPN, TNT, and ABC, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. So, home ice, got to get the wind going to the playoffs. That'll make me feel a lot better, man. A lot better. Hike it up there, Cameron. Hike it up. All right. Avalanche have it at center ice. Here we go. Nice pass down low. New side. Middle start. Shot save. Then it goes all the way around. Avalanche trying to keep it in on top. And center in another chance. Boom. Nice pass by Lackinen to Natuskin. For the goal, back in action. That's what we want to see. Boom! Lock in with a nice assist. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I'm talking about. I was just going to say, we need the Chuskin to have a good day, a good series, because he hasn't been so hot lately. What's up? one nothing Avalanche. Nice pass. Nachuskin, wide open net. Pow! Glove side, can't make the play. It's one nothing Avalanche. That's what I'm talking about. Go! Face-off goes to the Oilers. Swings it around in front. Avalanche there to get it away. Here we go. Going the other way. It's like three on two. Oh, loses control behind the goal line. To the far side and out of the zone. Here comes the Oilers the other way up top. Bam! Oil is going down. No penalty. 27th goal of the season from the Chuskin. 27. I want to get his autograph too, which he does a sign in. Guy's the man. Choo choo. Come on, ride the train. Choo choo, ride it. Swing it around up top of the oil zone. Four people in the scrum, and oil is skate away with it. Red, blue, dumps it down. 
<laughs> yeah, PT, let's go. Rhino is the good luck charm. I don't know about that. The, the audio gremlins are gone. I don't know. It must have been just maybe it needs a little good knocking or something. Weird, 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 man. Weird stuff. Chiefs, Cowboys, Saints, Vegas, New York. What are we talking about? Pickup team? Uh, I don't know what you mean. How many goals does Austin Matthews have? 69, dudes. Nice little pass, Taze. Center for a better shot to McKinnon. And it goes through, keeps it in up top behind the goal line. Ranton in. Ranton in looking, centering it. Can't get it on net. And then out of the zone, Taze has to give chase. Let's go, Avalanche. Cha, 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 cha. Let's go, Avalanche. Cha, 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 cha. Yeah, Charles, what's happening? Perfect audio. Yeah, I didn't even buy a new uh, computer. I don't know what was going on with the freakiness. Hopefully it stays this way. And we'll see how it goes. Cross your fingers, everybody. Cross your fingers. He couldn't get 70 last night. Sad times. Crying in the cookies now. Crying in those delicious cookies. Avalanche are third in the Central. Oilers are second in the Pacific. One point below the Avalanche. 105 to 104 on the point front. I just want the Avalanche to get a win going into the series with the Jets. Shot saved. Mm, nice shot there. Nice play. Nice opportunity. I like the pressure. Not Mr. Punchy. What's happening? Oh, man. It's been a while now, Mr. Punchy. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Is it Mr. Punchy? No. It's not, Mr. Punchy. And I wouldn't just make that up, would I? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back. Face off the far side of the Oilers zone. Too many, the top team, too many NFL teams that are good. Uh, there's a few, but every year is different. It's hard to stay on top in the NFL. So hard to do. The lifespan is, the window is super low. Shot there by Parisi. Nice save. Goes all the way around out of the zone. Mm, Parisi with an opportunity. What's up? What's up? What's up? Avalanche doing all the right things. Up one nothing. Just about five minutes into the game. Here in the first period. What's up, University? Who are the Oilers playing the playoffs? Do we know yet? Um, uh, what happened? I think they posted that this morning. I don't remember offhand. Dallas probably knows. Dallas, let us know who the oil is playing. I know you know. Shot saved again. Avalanche, Johnson, the blue line. And turnover, terrible pass. Oil was taken the other way. Red to blue, and Avalanche have it. Avalanche with all the momentum. 29, 8, and 7 when scoring first this season. Good start. So many millennials, they don't get the Karate Kid Back to the Future Bill or Ted references. So terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Smash that like button, hit that follow button, and subscribe to the channel, join the Rhino Nation. We're going to be covering as much Avalanche of the players as we can. I don't know if I'm going to get all the games or not, because they're not going to be on altitude, but I should get a bunch of them. I should get a lot of them and hopefully cover most of these games. Because they're right into the cup, I tell you. Here we go up top. Rister knocked away in front. Mm. Who are the Oilers playing? I have to check it out. Hold on. Out to the blood. Slapper saves. Pressure in the shoot. Um, McKinnon. Up top to Ranton. And pow! Got him. Bam, bam, bam. Nico. Two nothing, baby. What's up? Oh, it's still to be determined. Yeah, buddy. Are they, are, I thought they're playing Vegas. Am I totally off? I thought it was like between Vegas and the Kings, or is that somebody else? That's what I'm thinking of. Two nothing, people. Two nothing. 
Granted with a wrister up top, glove side over the shoulder, through the woods to Grandma's house. It goes. It's 2 0. Avalanche. This is what we need to see here in the first period. 42nd goal of the season for Arrenton and back to my games of the goal. 42. 42. They have to crush them. They got to show some, some, uh, I don't know, like um, show some momentum, show some heart, show everything because they got crushed 7 0 to the Jets this past week. So I was right. Okay. That's what I did remember seeing yesterday. Or this morning, something like that. Yesterday morning or this morning. <clears throat> Dallas coming through. That's what Dallas does. One of the best mods in the business, I tell you. One of the best mods around. She's the best around. Vegas or LA, they both play tonight. I think it's like 8 and 8.30 or something like that tonight. So we won't know till about midnight. Who's Paul? Midnight, uh, my time. Rhino time. Mountain time. Come on, Colton. It's time for you to do something tonight. Parisi fighting for him against the wall. The wall. The boards. Tay is down low at the point. Colton center it. Can't get it. Nice little save. The rebound. Can't put it home, but it's 2 0. 13 minutes left in the first. All Avalanche so far. No pressure on Georgiev. He's just taking it easy between the pipes tonight so far. I'll show you the pucks again because I love them. Love them. Come on, who's getting a goal today? Colton or Lekinen? Since I, I met them both this week. 2 a.m. here. You'll read about it in the funny papers. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, and then uh, during the first intermission, we'll open up this bad boy. 92 Opeachy. Eight baseball cards. We'll crack this pack open see what we get. Hopefully get a Griffey, a Maddox, any Hall of Famer will suffice. Well, a couple Hall of Famers, hopefully. But there's only eight cards, so hopefully at least one Hall of Famer. Frank Thomas, 92 OPG. We'll bust up on that bad boy at the first intermission. Uh, all right, we are streaming on YouTube. Rising Rhino on YouTube. Rising Rhino on um, Rumble, The Rising Rhino on Twitch. So those are the three main avenues of here. Get the puck out. Cut it out. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Love them. So I'm up to four pucks. I only have two basketballs autographed. Uh, I probably have about 13 baseballs and a ton of footballs. How many footballs are I have? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 18, 18 footballs, four pucks, two basketballs, and I think about 13 baseballs, maybe 12, something like that, something like that. Let's make sure I'm real time. And McDavid, beast of a season, beast of a season for McDavid. Top notch, but I hope McCarr gets the the trophy, the MVP. McKinnon, oh, the Avalanche on the power play. Let's go, put the Oilers in the box. As they send it over down. What's up, Shady Lane? What's up? That's right. You popped in before, too. I didn't give you a shout out. Shady. Shady. And McCarr to Ranton in to the far boards. Behind the goal line to the Chushkin. Out to McCarr. McKinnon deflected in there. I think that was the Chushkin again. I don't think that went in by McCarr. I think that was in the Chushkin. Go. I'm going to see that again. 3 nothing. Yeah, baby. Yeah, the Wilson, the Chiefs got the goal. That's two. Show me two. Oh, that would be so sweet to get the hat trick. That would be glorious. Choo choo. Woo -hoo! <clears throat> McKinnon to the Chuskin to the back of the net. No chance. No chance. Woo woo. 
Where are the Oilers going? Nowhere. Nowhere. They're going nowhere. Sucker. La, 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 la. They say Onan's in the net, but there's not in the net. What are they thinking? Silly, silly, silly. Silly ESPN. Yeah, Vince with the land. Yeah, camera. So they scored quickly on that uh, power play, which was awesome. Three nothing, eight minutes into the first period. Eight minutes, three goals. Yeah, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Skinner out there getting destroyed. Destroyed. Blades of steel. Blades of steel, baby. Near side of the Oilers' zone. Face off. Colton's got it. Oh, baby, he's got it. But the Oilers have it out of the zone. And they take it in near side. Watch out. 140 points a season for McKinnon. New franchise record points in a season. Wasn't the record 120? Wasn't it Sackick with 120? McKinnon's got 20 more points in that. He's got 20 more points in the record. 140. Amazing season for McKinnon. Amazing. What up, Jordan? Welcome in. I saw you chilling before. Awesome stuff there, Jordan. I uh, saw so you hanging out around the way. Roaming the YouTube streets like RC. You're watching TV with your cousins, cats, and their dog. Can the man. That's right, Vince. All right. Here comes the Oilers. Three on two the other way. And offsides. Oh, amateurs. Saturday, the playoffs begin. The Stanley Cup. Uh, Run begins Saturday. What's today? Thursday? Two days away. Avalanche should be playing Sunday, though. Hopefully, it fits into my schedule on Sunday. And I can stream the Avalanche. Hockey and left turns. Ugh. Terrible. Shot save pushed aside for the Avalanche. Out to Druin. Uh-oh. It loses it. Shot in front, deflected away there by McCarr. Far side out of the zone, blue, red to blue, but he loses it to the Oilers. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. All right, here we go. Lacking in. Oh, tried to do a nice little pass, but uh, stolen, broken up, and taken away. Nice try there, Lekkinen. Nice try. You had a nice assist before. Try to get in there. Up top, and the Avalanche make a change. Turn over, center. Lekkinen can't score. Come on, Lekkinen. <coughs> center, and the defenders get it. And out of the zone. Five shots to one. Three goals on five shots. They only had one shot on goal, the Oilers, and it wasn't really much of a shot at all. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I haven't been doing the, the other channel. I stopped. It really wasn't doing anything, so I put it on more of my other channels to see if that does anything for me. Because it wasn't doing anything for the growth. So I popped it on X and Kick instead. So I've been doing X and Kick as the fourth and fifth uh, streams out there besides uh, Twitch, Rumble, and YouTube. So. Oh, was that through the legs of Skinner? Was that a five-hole shot? Boom, it's four-nothing. Destroying of domination. Is that Manson? Manson with the goal? Looks like he went through the legs. I had to see that puppy again. Let's go. Skinner's going to be out of here. Kicking butt, taking names, baby. Let me see. Oh, it was from the blue line. It looked like it was deflected. Oh, my oil is skid, I think. 
And then it goes stick side where it doesn't even adjust to possibly even try to make a save because it was deflected by uh, an oiler skate in front. So not much of a chance there. Nice little goal by Manson. Unless it was deflected in front. Uh, uh, who was it? Who was standing in front? Um, ba -ba 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 -bum, bum Duhame. So unless it bounced off his stick or skate, but it looked like it was an oiler skate, so it should be a Manson goal. We'll see what they say in a little while. Could you be any worse? Well, the the Avalanche need to make up for that seven nothing loss to the Jets. So four nothing's a good start here in the first nine minutes left. Yeah, Schneider. McKinnon centered. Oh, I th thought he was getting number five. The shot was wide. Almost thought he was going to hit, hit the crossbar. Johnson up top, taken away, and they blew it dead. Oh, they said give it to Cogliano. So it was Cogliano with the seventh goal of the season. So it was deflected by him in front. Where is he? There he is. Cogliano with his seventh goal. Yeah, got him about a month ago. Cogs. Good old Cogliano. Bam. Give him a little avalanche puck collection going. I need to get a, a nice showcase for my Ikea and put, like, my mini helmets and pucks and baseballs nicely in there. I got my footballs back here, but I got to get something for, like, my baseballs and pucks to display them. So the, I, I've seen one at Ikea, but I got to get that in the future. So we'll see. So I can get all this set up. Nice little uh, nice little showing. You bite your tongue with that Bigfoot nonsense. You stop it. First you pass the puck. You shoot the puck. You score the puck. Is that so hard? I don't think so, Dallas. It's a simple strategy that everybody must implement if they want to win. If they want to win. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. We don't want no peanut butter jelly time. When's the next uh, stream? I got uh, football this weekend. Only three UFL games because one's an overlap. So they're all on the page. They're already put out there. Uh, I think it's Saturday, 10.30. Saturday, 10.30. And then, uh, well, no, that would be 12.30 Eastern Time. 12.30 Eastern Time and 7 o'clock Eastern Time. So those are two streams on Saturday. And then I have a stream on Sunday, which I think is 2 o'clock Eastern Time. And then I got to see when the Avalanche are playing on Sunday. Hopefully it's after 5 o'clock. So hopefully it's 5 o'clock or later on Sunday, my time, so I can cover the Jets and the Avalanche after the UFL. Sasquatch Mountain. That has a nice ring to it. Sasquatch Mountain Warriors. Colorado Power Play Stetcher for cross-checking. Cross-check it out now, the funk soul brother. Four nothing avalanche on the power play. McKinnon has it in the oil zone. The true skin chasing after him, but the oil is taking out the zone. And down near side, short handed, making some smooth moves, but can't get a shot on that. So McCarr has it and takes it out as they reset. But turns it over in the neutral zone and dumps it down. Back to McCarr. New Utah team name, the Utes. The, the two what? The two what? Oh, sorry. The two youths, Ranton and McCarr, McKinnon, centering it to nobody and out of the zone all the way down. The two what? Come on, let's go. M -m 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 McCarr. Middle stat, bringing it down. Red, blue, in. Leaves it to Tay. Center it to Lekin in. To middle stat, center and out of the zone to nobody. S-O-S, someone save me. What's happening, Jack? Oh, my God. We got S-O-S in the building. Middle start taking it down to Walker. Against the boards, the Oilers take advantage of him to the corner. Middle start sends it all the way around. 
down to Colton on the far side of the board. Take it to the goal line. Middle start. Out to Teddy's. Walker. It's going to have to be 5 nothing. Oh, stolen. Short-handed the other way. Wrister, save, rebound, against the side of the net. Rob Brown, diving, save by Georgiev. Beautiful. He says, no, 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 not on my watch. Uh, oh, no, it's it's not Georgiev. It's on and in. He is out there. It looked like 40 before. I thought it was Georgiev. Did they trick me or was it Georgiev warming up? They must have showed Georgiev before because Onanen's out there. They are right on ESPN. My bad. Oh, man, sweet diving save by Onanen. And back to full strength. And six and a half left in the first. Four and nothing avalanche. What's up, you beautiful people? Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Nice diving save by Ah oh, Nin Nin. That's glorious. Hopefully that makes uh, top ten. Nice little diving save. Pow! Not today. No, no, no. Memberships available. Two dollars a month, five dollars a month, or ten dollars a month. Showing some love. Phoenix here. Or Rhino level. Yeah, he's got a 2.35 goal against average. Better than the 3.02 for Georgiev. So uh, I, I think they got to give on it in a fair amount of play in the playoffs. Crazy to say since Georgiev has been the main guy all year long with the most wins, I believe, in the season. Uh, icing on the Oilers. I'll bring it back down. SOS. How's the stream going? How's the game? Still uh, – Turn it up over there with the pickle juice and the drinking of the pickle juice. Uh, face off and something happened. The weather is here. Wish you were beautiful. Duham is in the box. Duham. All right, we're going to put Duham in the box. Put the bunny back in the box. Idiots. Idiot. You idiot. Who knows who that is? You idiot. Sandra knows. Sends it down. Interference on Brandon Duham. Pay the man his money. I'm a terrible actor. Uh, do you guys know who that is? Fogel, McLeod, down low to Perry. Henrik on the near side of the boards. To the goal line, behind on and in Perry. Out to the point, McLeod. Perry. Henrik, back to Perry. Playing past the potato. Up top, slapper on the one time of McLeod wide. All the way around. Get it out of the zone, and they do. All right, middle stop brings it. Nope, sorry. Short hand the shot on goal by the Chuskin save. Nice. What up, Brack? What's going on? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Come on, choo choo. One minute down on the power play. Gagner taking it in. Behind the goal line. Come on, Avalanche, kill it. I want a shutout. I want an on and in shutout. Short handed. Oh, he loses control and then just sends it down. Second worst in the NHL on the penalty kill. Yeah, they got smashed by the Jets on the penalty kill. Oh, it was, it was brutal. They've been horrendous. Horrendous. Holloway, celebrate. Oh, they get a goal. There goes the shutout. Oh, man, Broberg. He's not my bro. Gets going on and in from the blue nine. It's four to one. What's the good word, Rick? I appreciate the subscription. Shout out to Rick for subscribing. Well, let's go. Welcome to the Rhino Nation, my man. Welcome in. We cover a lot of Avalanche games. We cover tons and tons and tons of football. So if you're a football fan, we do lots of football, UFL, CFL, NFL, college football, and beyond. All about the Oilers. No, it's not, Dallas. Uh, you got a piece of it, but back to the net it goes. And their dreadful penalty kill continues. The worst. Four and a half minutes left. 
Holloway, celebrate. Oh, Holloway got the goal. Sixth goal of the season. Celebrates. <clears throat> if you took the Holloway, Holloway, some time to celebrate. Celebrate. It would be, it would be so nice. Well, not for the avalanche. Oh, I think that was offsides. No, I guess they keep it onside. Taze. McCarr sends it around behind Skinner. Here we go. Center it. Oh, deflected away and taken out of the zone. The Rhino Nation. Celebrate good times. Come on. Dallas knows. Come on, Taze. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Figured if we could. Uh, if we got hit, we could get hit on a Sunday. Nothing is open. Nothing's open. What is it? What are we back in like the 50s? Shot push wide. Shot again. Saved and held on to you by Ananin. Stays for one. Three and a half left in the first period. Lots and lots of action so far. A lot of action. American Underdog. Great movie there, Dan Studio. Great movie. NFL, XFL, USFL, UFL, NCAA, foosball. SOS chat would not know that song. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta drop some knowledge on these people, man. We gotta get them ready. We gotta get them in the zone. We gotta get them to the top notch level there, Dallas. Not easy to do. Not easy to do. All right, we're on Twitch, The Rising Rhino on Twitch, Rising Rhino on Rumble, and Rising Rhino on YouTube. Make sure you like and follow everywhere. Let's check out the Rumble peeps while we have a second. Oh, we got the code over there. We got the real Rebecca Foster. What's up? Go Red Wings. All right, all right, all right. Should appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Foster. Bam. <clears throat> Oh, good. Do some Red Wings. Red Wing action. Maybe next year I'll cover some Red Wings uh, games. The Detroit Red Wings. Good luck, good luck, good luck. 17 over here in Rumble. Yeah, we got 11 chilling on the Rumble side, which is pretty cool. Not bad. Even Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. Crazy talk. Legend of the Pineapple on Pizza. No, 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 no. We got 80 followers on Rumble. We are 20 away from 100. Nice. We're getting there. Little by little. Grind by grind. Grinding away. Just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. All right. All right. All right. Legend of the pineapple. And the legend of the ranch was my hardcore. Got to know that movie, people. That movie is amazing. Amazing. New pineapple. Pineapple in the pizza. Golden Corral. What is this nonsense, I tell you? It's nonsense. And up and out of play. Face off in the Avalanche Zone. Bum, 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 bum. Anybody going to watch that Tyson fight? I think in July, uh, Tyson, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul boxing match using 13 ounce gloves. It's Jake Paul, right? Logan Paul, one of the Paul brothers, the boxing brother. Oh, what's like? It wasn't offsides. It was offsides. I was like, come on, he's offsides. I wish he wasn't. We have much of a chance there with Lekin in. Come on, Lekin in. Thanks for signing my uh, my puck. Twenty two uh, Stanley Cup champions. Got a little. I get a free inscription. His uh, cost a little more than Colton, but at least I got an inscription with it. So, what's up, Colap? What's happening, Colap? In the building. Tyson is up to plus 135. He's not the favorite. 
What up, what up, what up, Goose? Goose in the house. What's up, my man? 41 Avalanche. Good to see you, Goose. Another fellow streamer. Good stuff, Goosey. The Goose is this. What's good for the Goose is good for the Rhino. Make sure you guys go check out Goose Sports. Does tons of content, just like me. Join the Goose Network. Clap is back. Get ready. A month away till uh, tennis. Clap. A month away. I got to make sure I do a bunch of tennis matches. So, love me some tennis. It's usually me, me, uh, Clep, and a few others. It was like Samuel and a few other guys. 42 cent hike. Oh, almost squeezes through the, uh, the five hole of Skinner. Wasn't much of a shot there. Only eight shots by the Avalanche, four goals. Six shots for the Oilers, one goal. But I feel like there's so much action. Just over two minutes left in the first. Goose from Top Gun. Talk to me, Goose. Great name. Goose from Top Gun is a legend. Too many's not a living legend, but a legend nonetheless. You bet on the NHL tonight. Who'd you bet on there, Clep? Who is your team or teams of choice? Pressure by the Oilers. On and in. Covering up. Shot centered. Save. On and in. Rebounds. Push to the side. Two minute warning in the first. Play continues. Avalanche get it out. Sheesh. Oilers, Oilers looking a lot better in the second 10 minutes of this first period. That's for sure. Cold pineapple, not warm. Yeah. Cold pineapple and warm pineapple are very different. I don't like either pineapple, actually. Not a pineapple fan. On pizza, off of pizza, near pizza, without pizza. Just pineapple, pineapple, chocolate-covered pineapple, bacon-covered pineapple. Eh, I don't want it. Too many men on the ice. Too many men on the ice. ruh -roh. Not a pineapple guy. Nice little save there by Anandin. And then the save again with the with the pad. The blocker. What up, Dylan? What's happening? Welcome to the party. So, Euler in the box. Two-minute power play with a minute 40 left in the first. Back in the box. Back in the box. Go the Oilers. Time to take advantage. Who do you got today, Dylan? Who are you rooting for? Obviously, I'm going... Avalanche, but uh, welcome in. <clears throat> Nachuskin to the far side. Druin back out to the point. McCarr. Druin. Rantanen behind the goal line. Behind Skinner. Pushing center. Nice save. McKinnon has it on the new side of the boards. Moving forward. Dumps it out to McCarr at the blue line. Back to McKinnon. Centering it. Rantanen doesn't get much on it. And so sorry, it was Nachuskin doesn't get much on it. McKinnon back to McCarr, loses control. The Oilers send it down. Minute and a half left on the power play. Oilers all the way. Good luck to you. It was a rough start, but uh, they're looking a lot better in the last few minutes. So good luck to you. They're on the penalty kill now, Dylan. But uh, once the playoff starts, that's all that matters since this last game of the season. Swings it around. And Avalanche keep it in. Druin sends it. I tried to send it in. McCarr. Rister saved. Rebound. Oh, another save. Oilers take it out. Two on two. Near side. Short handed. Trying to get a shot on Onanen. No can do. Turns it over. And the Chus can the other way. 45 seconds left on the power play. Ranton in. They got to get back on side. McKinnon has it at the red line. Going up top to the blue line. Ranton takes it in and out of the zone. Nice defense by the Oilers. Walker to Taze, resetting. Colton brings it in near side. Backpedaling to Taze. Good defense against the boards for the Oilers and out of the zone. 25 seconds left in the power play. What up, Eric? What's happening? Uh, who do you think it's going to be in the playoffs? Vegas. Vegas. Uh, I would say Vegas. Vegas, baby. End of the first period. Four to one. Let's go. So there'll be another 20 seconds left of the power play to start the second period. But uh, that's the end of one. I'll take it. Four to one. A lot of points on the board. 
action-packed first period. And now I'm going to crack open a 1992 OPG baseball pack. Let's see what we get. Go Oilers. Dallas just does this against every Avalanche team. She picks the other team. Is McDonald's open late? I'm pretty sure there's got to be some 24 hours uh, McDonald's by you. Unless they don't have that in Canada. That doesn't exist. Does McDonald's exist in Canada? I'm joking. No, seriously. Does it? Because I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. What's a good word, Eric? All right. Let's try to get a Griffey in this pack. Let's try to get Griffey, Frank Thomas, Randy Johnson. Ah, is it Manny Ramirez rookie in this pack too? That's right. It is 92, isn't it? Like one of his first cards. Ah, that would be even better. That would be the, the main card I would get. I used to have a bunch of Manny Ramirez's back in the day, but I only have one now because I sold them all back in the late 90s. So I've got to get my Manny Ramirez back. I love the 94 star rookie in Upper Deck. That's my favorite Manny Ramirez card. I don't have it, but I got to get it. I got to get it back. All right, here we go. Let's see. It's upside down. I hate when they put the cards all the wrong way. So let's see. Who do we get? I can't tell who that is through the screen. The closest 24-hour McDonald's is two hours away. Go get it done. Uh, Alan Trammell. Wow, I remember him. He had a couple good years. He was okay. He was all right. Who's next? He's upside down. What? What is this? Hold on. What is this? What is this, OPG? What is this? Back-to-back -back cards? Alan Travel? This is ridiculous. What is this? What are they doing to me? Miner's got double vision. Back-to-back. -back. This is ridiculous. 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 If they did that with, like, King Ruby Jr., okay. But not Alan Trammell. Ridiculous. Rick Aguilera. Come on, OPG. That's three out of eight. What is this? What is this? A checklist. Card number four. They give me duplicates and a checklist. The Rhino's getting mad. The Rhino's getting upset. It's getting upset. Worlds are colliding. They better make up to me with like a good card coming up, man. They better. There's no gum in this pack, Dallas. Greg Jeffries. Oh, that's funny. Me and my friend BL joke about Greg Jeffries. Oh, man. Greg Jeffries. This pack is just getting better and better. Ruben Amaro. Oh, this is brutal. This is brutal. Is the Greg Jeffries going to be the best card? Alvin Davis. No, I think my best card uh, is, uh, is a checklist. And a Greg Olson. What is this? The best card is we got twice the crap with two Alan uh, Trammels and a checklist. The best card is Greg Jeffries. Is this what we have here? This is this is something. This is Opeachy oh, pile of crap. That's for sure. Holy cow! This is ugly. I gotta send this to my friend. This is a brutal pack. Man, I think the checklist, I think the checklist is a step above the Jeffries. What do you say? Brutal. Brutal. Oh, man. I would be upset paying 50 cents for this pack. Oh, wait. I paid more than that. This sucks. Get upset. Get upset, Jerry. Get upset. Oh, man, I got to take a picture of this pile of garbage. Oh, man. This is glorious garbage. That's what this is. I don't even know which way. Oh, man. That is a pack and a half. <laughs> wow. This is a beauty. A beauty checklist. The best card. This is the best card. I think the the wrapper is worth more than this pack. Man, horrendous, horrendous. 
I wish we had a Ricky Vaughn. Holy crap. What up, Blue Numbers? Welcome in, Blue Numbers. Just so you join the party. 84 Tigers. Best ever. Man, that, this, I got this. This is. Whoo, man. Ain't this some crap? Oh, boy. I, I don't even have any. Well, I guess the good thing is I don't have to put the cards away because these are just going in a box. Unless I'm going to start a, a page of Greg Jeffries and throw those out there. Drafted by the Mets in 92, he's already on the Royals. 1991 stats, nine home runs, 62 ribbies, 272 average. You suck. This sucks. Um, I got an Elway the other day that I never had. I have about 60, 66 different uh, John Elways, and I think I have his rookie card too. But man, well, I don't have much to put. I don't have anything to put away from this pack. This was a doozy. Turn those cards into an Uno card. I'm gonna go put this on my bike so it makes a cool sound when I. It sounds like I'm driving a motorcycle. When I'm when I'm riding my uh, bike, da, 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 oh man, oh man, you got the coolest bike. How do you make it sound like that, Greg Jeffries? Alan Trammell. That's how I make my bike sound that way. Yikes! Checklists. Man, oh man, Kane is back. You meh? I'm meh after opening up that uh, ridiculous pack. Oof, I got to send this to my uh, my friend right now. Oh, yes. Whew. Man, this is, this is horrendous. Oh, man, he's going to love this pack. He's going to love it. He's going to love it. Hold on. Man. Wow, that was something. All right, let me go throw those in the. Uh, I, I got to move them in the box because I don't even want to look at them anymore. I don't even want to look at them. I should just take them and throw them straight in the trash. That is trash, man. This this has got to go bye bye. This this pack I can't even look at it anymore. I can't even look at you anymore. I'll be right back. Give me one minute. Still, man. <clears throat> Get them set! Get them set, Jerry! Get them set! <sighs> All right. I got to let that go. Maybe out of sight, out of mind, because that was... That wasn't even something. That's less than something. Man. Yikes. <laughs> oh, boy. Hopefully things turn around there, Rick. Hopefully things turn around. Uh, where should I get something to put your sports cards in? Uh, you got to go with a binder and some pages for your favorite ones. And then you get the others in. Uh, you get those little penny pouches, little penny sleeves. And you put them in boxes. But, yeah, I have a binder of uh, the Hall of Famers. So whatever good cards I get, I put them into the binder. And, yeah, so by player. So you got to go hit up your local, uh, your local sports card store and show some local support, buy some supplies. They have tons of it there, man, tons. Tons and tons and tons. Oh, ridiculous. Hold on. My friend hates Jeffries because he had to trade his 1989 Upper Deck Greg Jeffries rookie card back in 1990 for Don Mattingly. 
and he hated that because the Mad the, the Jeffries was worth a lot more than the Manley at the time. And he didn't want to trade the Jeffries rookie for just a, a random Don Mattingly. But Don Mattingly was his favorite player, so he did it anyway. But the Mattingly is worth more today, 30, 34 years later. <clears throat> so he got the best of him in that deal. But he was so mad at the time at that friend or, you know, classmates where he had to trade his Jeffries card for the Mattingly. Anyone would like to start the game with the Avalanche? I love it, Shady. Love it, love it, love it. Fitzy and his viewers just joined the party. Uh, I missed them enter. What's up, Fitzy and the Kitty? Welcome in. Thomas Fitzpatrick. Um, six and a half minutes to the start of the second period. I'm going to have to get another pack for the, the second intermission because, <sighs> wow, that's all I got to say. <sighs> Make sure you put the best cards in front of the binder to impress chicks. That's it. That's what you do. You know, my friend would have his binder of uh, baseball cards. He'd have the Mattingly's in front. He'd say, hey, do you like my Mattingly's? And uh, he's been single ever since. <laughs> Just kidding. He's married. But it took years to recover from the Mattingly. She's like, Mattingly, do you have any Hall of Famers? And he's like, non Hall of Famer, Don Mattingly. Don Mattingly, who's that? Never heard of her. Hey, got him. Good thing he's not watching right now. He'd be really mad. Do you like my Mattingly's? Those are good ones, uh, Paulie. It's good ones. It's a good one. I appreciate the joke. It's some good humor. Impress the chicks. You're just going to be like, size matters. The size of my Mattingly collection, my sports card binder. The size of that matters. Look at all these cards I have. Impressed now? Oh, man. Classic. Classic, classic, classic. Bum, bum, bum. Trivia question of the night. O.J. Simpson was drafted number one overall in 1969. How many other number one overall draft picks did they have all time? Mm, I don't know. I got nothing there. Don't know. Good question. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh... Mm. Yeah, like uh, my friend told me that you don't get too many doubles in a pack. I don't remember getting doubles at all, but I've opened a few of these packs, and I think that's the third time I got doubles. Third time with these old packs, I think it is. Man, oh, man. Getting upset. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Thursday night. Thursday night. It's a pretty easy week for me this week. And tomorrow's an assembly schedule, so that we have shortened classes, and we have an hour for an assembly in the middle of the day, getting ready for the uh, the prom shenanigans uh, for the seniors. Well, I think for everybody, but. That's coming up. Uh, what the heck is that? Is that this weekend? I don't remember. 
Four to one in the first, Marshall. That is right. Yeah, yeah. Avalanche on top. Um, yeah, there's a proms coming up. Is it next week? I think the prom is next weekend. I don't know what the theme for the prom is. The Jets won. Screw the Jets. Man, the Avalanche got to get themselves in gear against the Jets uh, by this weekend because I don't want it to be a blowout. Big summer blowout. You You're hiding in the corner of the bar because you live in New England. All right there, Hayden. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. We'll give you one of these. Welcome to the party, Hayden. Welcome to the party, pal. The clam chowder. Well, welcome in, sexer. <clears throat> Sent from the heavens above. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's go, Avalanche. Who do you got? Avalanche or Oilers? And who do you got in the playoffs? Does anybody make a, a playoff bracket for hockey? Does anybody do that? Because you got to create your brackets by, uh, by tomorrow night. Fill it out and see uh, who's going all the way to the cup. Sexy in the house. Can I get a whoop whoop? Go Kings. Good luck. Let me get the scoreboard up because you probably got to pay attention to that. And then everybody on the Colorado games, and you're originally from Colorado. I moved to Colorado about four years ago, Hayden, from New York. Edmonton's getting curb stomped. They are biting the curb right now. What's up, Williams? The Stars. Big Stars fan. Good luck to the Stars there, Williams. Welcome in, man. Welcome in. Let's see the scores. The Flames are 5 0 over the Sharks heading to the third period. The Golden Knights and the Ducks have about two minutes left in the first. No score. 0 0. Who's winning? The Bears. Jets beat the Canucks 4 2. The Kraken beat the Wild 4 3. And we got the Blackhawks and the Kings starting now. But the Ducks and the Golden Knights, no score. Near the end of the first. Stars are nasty. Yep, they're spreading it on. They are spreading it on. I don't want to play the Stars. But anything can happen in the playoffs. You take the Panthers. Flaudy da moving up the charts. You almost got to jump from when you add jersey after they won uh, the final. Against Tampa Bay uh, a couple years ago. Craziness. Craziness, Hayden. Glad you survived. Didn't get jumped. All right. Ten more seconds after the power play. The beginning of the second period. Here we go. Four to one avalanche. Five seconds left. We're anting in on the near side. Can't get a shot off. And we should be going to full straight. Oilers taking it out. And down. Back to full strong length. So, no... Spreading on the lead there with that power play. And out of the zone, back to the neutral zone. What up, CeeLo? hey -o! On the go with CeeLo. <clears throat> Predators going to take down the Canucks. Good stuff there, CeeLo. Good stuff. On the go. Welcome in, people. Make sure you check out On the Go with CeeLo. Does tons and tons of racing. If you're down with the racing... Make sure you join on the go with CeeLo and um, does tons of hockey predator fan, as you can see below in the chat. And then big time Brave fan covers a lot of Braves games as well. So big time streamer. Make sure you check him out. I think he's around 9,000. Did you hit 10,000 subs yet? Might hit 10,000. Turnover red to blue. Oilers in there, shot save, covered up by Onanen, and then the uh, middle stop falls over Onanen. That's that's classic. Classic. Yeah, the Jets have uh, home ice locked up. They do. They'll be in uh, Winnipeg. Oh, 1.1 thousand, man. 
Amazing. Almost 12,000. Man, NASCAR is tearing it up for you. Good stuff, man. I hear you getting like huge numbers to the racing. Um, racing is not my thing, but it's it's freaking bringing you tons of people. That's awesome stuff. 12,000. Glorious times here, CeeLo. Glorious times. Face on the far side of the Avalanche zone. One and a half minutes into the second period. Avalanche win it. They got the face off. What up, Gus? Gus, Charlie to the party, but here in the second period. And oil is taken on out. Sends it down behind the goal line. Connor McDavid. Oilers scratches. No McDavid today. They're going healthy. Oh, uh, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, offsides on the Oilers face off out of the zone. 2,200 in the chat last Sunday. Damn. That's pretty sweet, man. Pretty freaking sweet. 2,200 in the chat. Man. Man, oh, man. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Chappy flying. Turn after turn. Oilers have it in their own zone. Sends it down. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Turnover. Oilers have a new side. Push it behind the goal line, behind Amundin. Avalanche take it away and out of the zone. It's just like passing it back and forth from zone to zone. Oh, Avalanche and Oilers were tackling. They were sliding like a slip and slide down the ice. That was pretty funny. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. More and more and more. Hey, we got 13 people on the Rumble side. Make sure you hit that like button, follow button, and subscribe button wherever you're watching. Go Rumble, go Rumble, go. Go Rumble, go Rumble, go. All right. Avalanche won the face off. And not much happening. Oh, it gets a shot and pushed aside. Ooh. Behind the goal line, fighting for it in the corner, near side, and passes it up and out and dumps it down so that the Oilers can make a change. On and in, getting it to Taze. You love Rumble. Rumble's going all right, man. It's going all right. There's 12, 13 people chilling on there right now. Shot saved. On and in. Get it out of the zone, and the Avalanche do. McKinnon fighting for it, but the only ones have it. Bumble's doing all right. Ah, four likes to 30 on the YouTube side. Let's go. 30 and beyond. The big 3 0 and beyond. Boy, let's keep it in behind on and in. Making some moves, trying to do a little wrap around, pass it in front. Slapper saved on and in. Rebound. The Chuskin gets it. Takes it on out. Back to the Chuskin down low. Ah, uh, can't get it into their zone. Oilers the other way. Middle stack goes and sends it behind on it. And Taze, Taze got it. Reset, reboot. Let's charge. Sends it down. What are you doing, Avalanche? What are you doing? Right to the Oilers. <clears throat> Oh, uh, they might. You know what? I don't I don't know. I haven't heard it. You know what? I don't listen for it. And when I'm talking, I don't hear it. Occasionally, I don't hear the talking in the background, but I don't hear this, the fans, actually. So, I don't. I can't answer that question, actually. Wood deflected in front. Jones. Knocked away in front again. Jones. Centered. Oh, he missed it. Colton had a chance there. Come on, Colton. Get a goal. Oilers taken on out. <clears throat> you didn't hear it, uh, Paulie? All right. Yeah, so I haven't uh, I haven't heard it. I can't hear it. So I, but it doesn't mean they're not doing it. I just haven't heard it. To the points. Avalanche keep it in. Far side. Send. 
sends it in front. Can't deflect it in. Oilers taking it on out. I'll have to go to the game and do some research. Go go to some playoff games. Avalanche playoff games. Smash into the boards. Nice. Come on. Near side. Manson at the blue line. Moving forward. Knocked away. Still has the near side. Come on, Manson. Manson can't do much. Tries to maneuver through some Oilers. Loses the puck. Rister wide. Ugh. Big shot there. Big shot. Come on. Let's make a 5-1. Let's get back to a four-goal lead. A lot of pressure here by the Avalanche. Maintaining the pressure. I can play my game. I'll test you. Shot saved. And Avalanche keeps it in. Sends it wide. Covers it up. Oh, they got Picard out there. Picard out there for the Oilers. Six free drinks and three seats for less than 100 bucks. If you find, uh, if you're on the right night, yeah. Yeah, during the season, yeah. That'll work. Not for the playoffs, though. Not going to work for the playoffs. Leafs Bruins tickets are going for 350. Damn. 350. Meatloaf cupcakes. What? What? Mashed potatoes on top. Meatloaf. Come on, man. Nobody said no to want no meatloaf. No, nobody wants meatloaf. Stop it. Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Sounds ridiculous. Sounds ridiculous. All right. Let me see what my friend said. Talking about Greg Jeffries and ridiculousness. Could be meat, could be cake. Must be meat cake. Ugh. Sissa, what's up, Blanco? Yeah, buddy. What's up, what's up, what's up? Potatoes. I love me some potatoes. I like them any way but sweet. No sweet potatoes. Potatoes any other way, I'll take them. Not a big fan of the sweet potato. Not a fan. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome back. Thirteen and a half minutes left in the second. Shot saved. Trying to slam it home, covering it up on and in. Do we have a penalty? On and in. Doing some nice things in net tonight. Liking it. They're going to have to give him some action in the playoffs. Because I think uh, he might be the hotter hand or the hotter glove or the hotter legs. Hotter stick. Uh, no penalty. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Face off near side of the Avalanche zone. Avalanche have it. Take it out. Eight saves for justice. Armadin. Look up a recipe for meatloaf cupcakes. No. Never. Meatloaf, nothing. There will be no meatloaf. There will be zero meatloaf. Stop it. Bite your tongue, meatloaf cupcakes. That's how you make cupcakes worse. If you put meatloaf or pineapples on them. You want some pineapple cupcakes too? No. No pineapple cupcakes. Push against the boards and on out. Let's go. 
Let's go, let's go. Come on, stop showing Kiro Give. Show the game. Thank you, cameraman. Out to the blue line. And sends it down, but it's out of the zone. McKinnon has it. Meatloaf donuts. This is not helping. This is not making it better. You don't make meatloaf better. It just makes everything else worse. It makes the donuts worse. Meatloaf donuts. What is going on in the world today? Blah. Meatloaf bagels, meatloaf donuts. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible, people. Terrible. I sing on the avalanche. Four to one avalanche, 12 and a half left in the second. All in. All right. The last game of the season. The last game on altitude. At Ball Arena. Fifth straight playoff berth for the Oilers. Meatloaf cream stick. Nonsense. Nonsense. Behind on and into the far corner against the boards. Avalanche shaking out. Three on two. Oh, they're making a the change. The shoe skin near side. Spinning around, dropping it back. Jones fakes it, passes up top. Wister knocked away in front. Avalanche still have it. Moving out to the point. Back down to Jones. Jones moving closer against the boards near side. Leaves it for middle stop. Shot save, rebound. Oilers there. It's going to be a penalty on the Oilers. They blew it dead. Why'd they blow it dead? Penalty on the Oilers? It's got to be a penalty on the Oilers. Show me penalty on the Oilers. <laughs> 27 in the box. The bunny back in the box. Oh, is that a slash? Did he slash him? Did he slash him middle stats? Slashing. Hussa. Hussa. Hiya. In the box. Two minute power play. Time to get that goal. They didn't get it before. It's time now. Milo Donuts would be better because you can fill the hole with great. Ooh. Gravy is nice, but not with meatloaf. But maybe it was something apart from meatloaf. Because gravy, now you're talking. What do I know? Gravy. Brown gravy. But not meatloaf, man. The flying V. Get it done, Vince. Get it done. McKinnon taking it down. To Rantanen, out to McCarr at the blue line, up top, Druin, Nachushkin, McKinnon, out to McCarr at the blue line. Rantanen, shot, Ooh. Nachushkin can't, can't uh, tip it in, trying to get the hat trick. McKinnon, far side, making some moves, out to McCarr, moving forward, Rister wide. Mm. Behind the goal line, Rantanen can't keep it in, and neither can McCarr all the way down. Mm. Murder Dog and I just came in from running fences. Time to fix dinner. I want some dinner. Let's go. I ate an early dinner. Had my pulled chicken. Drew in centered. McKinnon. McCarr. McKinnon. Pass the potato. Back to McCarr. Get it to Nachuskin. Drew in. McKinnon in front. Drew in to McCarr to McKinnon. Rister wide. Nachuskin getting it behind the goal line. Sends it around the Druin and out of the zone all the way down. 30 seconds left in the power play. Rocky Mountain Oysters. How about some Rocky Mountain Oyster Donuts? Anybody want any of those? 20 seconds left. Middle stat out there. 20 seconds left in the power play, to be more specific. Red line, blue line. Stolen by the Oilers. Came the other way, and that should kill the power play. Walker has it behind on and in. Five seconds left. Resetting, charging, flying V style. Two red and blue. Colton near side. Speeding through. Sends it around. Ugh, loses control in the oil. Is have it killed the power play. One shot 
on the power play. No goal. Stays four to one. <clears throat> oh, baby, he's got it. Nine minutes left in the second period. Duhame running for it in the far corner. Smash against the boards. Kucherov is 144 points. Shot saved. Rebound. Can't get a shot on net. Cogliano fighting for it. Manson keeping it in, but the Oilers get it on out. Kucherov with 144 and McKinnon second in points with 140. Loving it. Beast of a season, man. Uh-oh. Wister saved by Onanen. Nice. Woo. 19 shots for Colorado. Four goals. Ten shots for the Oilers. One goal. Taken away. Parisi. Up top. Shot saved. Trennan can't put it uh, in the back of the net. A lot of action the first 10 minutes for the Avalanche, but not much since. Shot on Onanen, and he holds on to it. 820 left in the second period. You've been working with AI. Good to hear. They're going to hit the uh, commercial. You hit the like button, follow button, and subscribe button. Rising Rhino Rumble, YouTube, and The Rising Rhino on Twitch. Make sure you follow everywhere, people. Follow everywhere. Anybody know the answer? Man, we got 15 rumblers. Make sure you hit that like button and follow. Hit that like and follow. <clears throat> Join the Rhino Nation. All right, so Rumble's got a decent crowd for this uh, hockey game. Not much on Twitch, though. It's not a big night for Twitch. Let's see the uh, hockey scores. Golden Knights and Ducks, no score at the first intermission. No score for the Blackhawks and the Kings with seven minutes left in the first period. And the Flames still 5 nothing of the Sharks in the third. So no score in those two deciding games. No score yet. Um, should I get a football pack or a baseball pack for the second intermission? That is the question. What up, Hawkins? What's cooking? Hawkins, what's happening? Should I get a baseball pack or a football pack to open? I'm like halfway through those chunk of packs. It's been fun busting those babies open. Not giving too much good stuff because some of them were... Hawkins coming through. Back in action, joining the Rhino Nation. I did better with football before. I think I've been getting better. Like you know the the eighty seven tops. No, the eighty seven Donra. Was it tops? Eighty seven Donruss. I got some good stuff in that first pack I opened, where I got the Ozzy Guillen, the Don Mattingly, Dennis Eckersley, and the Cal Ripken in the pack. That was actually pretty good. That was probably the best pack, and that was like the first one I did. Yeah, I'll go football. I'll go football. Who remembers Wayne Gretzky hockey on the Wii? I don't remember that. I never played it. I'm going to go football. Football it is. Good call. Love me some football. Shot centered in front. Boom. Got him. Let's go. There it is. Five to one. Policy! Boom, 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 boom. Got him. Was that Colton on the assist? Let me see. Colton. Yeah, Colton on the assist. Parisi in front from his knees. Pow. Well, from his knee. Boom. Pops it right in there. Got him. Colton with the assist. Colton with the assist, baby. Bam. Bam! Let's go all the launch. That's right, John. 
Five to one. Let's go. Fifth goal of the season for Zach. The Zach attack for Reese. First since March 4th, but we'll take it. It's all right. It's all right. Being on the end of the line. It's okay. If he just does a little action for us, we're in good shape. What's up, Mikey O? Good evening. Good evening, Mikey. What's happening? What's going on? Welcome in, Kaladis. <laughs> Appreciate you joining in, Mikey O. No time, no see. Glad you're back, baby. Last game of the season. Oh, that hit the, hit the, uh, the crossbar. I heard the cling. Boom. Watch out for the Oilers. Bringing the pressure. Bringing the pressure. In front. Can't get a shot. Out to the blue line. Uh-oh. To the point, shot save on it and holds on to it. Seven minutes left. Second period. I don't know those cards. Avalanche spanking and slapping. They are, they're like, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? The Avalanche are your daddy. At least tonight. At least tonight. Face off one by well, the Avalanche out of the zone. Get her done. Red line sends it down behind the goal line, giving chase. Oilers have it. Taking it on out. Listen to my fabulous mods, they're the best around. Nothing's ever going to bring you down. You're the best around. Go Lightning. All right, all right, all right. Talking and grubbing media. Long time, buddy. Oh, my God. What's up, what's up, what's up? What are you grubbing on tonight there, uh, talking and grubbing? Let's hear it. We're covering the avalanche. Spanking the Oilers 5-1 here in the second period. I'm going to open up another pack of cards at the second end of mission. He's talking. He's grubbing. He's having a good time. Let's go. Welcome to the party. Yeah, John K is back. Greedy. J -j 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 Johnny. Where well, I used to think it was John Kreese. Getting ready for the NBA playoffs Saturday. Saturday for NHL and NBA, right? Isn't it? Or is it Sunday tomorrow for the NBA? I think it's Saturday, though. I think it's Saturday for both sports. We're ready to rock and roll. What's up, brother? Here we go. Out of the zone. Send it down. Avalanche make a change. Oils have it. Getting ready for the playoffs. Go Colts, go Avalanche. I love it. Hawkins. My boy, Blue. My boy. Out to the point. Oilers shot wide off the board, swinging it around. And back out to the point. Centering it. Knocked away in front. Another save. On and in. No, 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 no. Do you believe in miracles? Because I hope you do. Always got a friend talking about Golden Corral. And icing on the avalanche. Womp womp. Womp womp womp. Yeah, Saturday, right? Saturday for NBA and NHL. And I think the avalanche are playing on Sunday. Hopefully later in the day. I am hoping – what time am I streaming on Sunday? I think, I think I'm doing 12 to 3, so hopefully it's 3 o'clock and after. I think it's 3 o'clock. I'll be done. Yes, Samuel, it's, it's time. It's time. 
Time for playoff basketball. Time for playoff hockey. Get ready. The playoffs have arrived. It's time. All right, they're at a commercial. We will wait for them to resume play. What the 18 people watching on the Rumble side? Cool, cool, cool. People are showing up in the last game of the season. Nom, 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 nom. Drink those tasty beverages. I got to restock the fridge. I got to restock the fridge. I don't have any more tasty beverages. I just have water and coffee. Wah, wah. 76ers and the Knicks. And then we got Nuggets, Lakers. Those are those are two good uh, series that are starting up Saturday. Pretty darn sweet. Knicks and Sixers and Nuggets and, and Lakers. That's good stuff. One of my uh, our colleagues is going to the, the Nuggets-Lakers game Saturday in, uh, in Denver, Ball Arena. That's awesome. Oh, they got the time set. The Avalanche, 7 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN2. I'll be able to cover the Avalanche. Avalanche Jets, 7 o'clock Eastern Time on Sunday. Pretty sure I can cover it. I got to double check uh, my streams. Let me do that real quick right now. Behind the net. Pretty sure. And brings it on in for our side. Avalanche take it away. And sends it up top. Red, blue, onside to the point. Sends it around behind the goal line. Center it. Ooh. Druin can't smack it in there. Wasn't ready for it. Wasn't ready for it. Um, Let me see. Sunday is the 21st. Yeah. Cool. Yep, I can cover the Avalanche game. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Excelente. Oh, as long as I have the game, I didn't see what it was on. Oh, it was on ESPN 2. Yeah. I can cover it on ESPN 2. All right. Woo. I'll set that up too and add it to the list. Rista to flatten out of play. Nice save. And the Chu's going to try to get his hat trick. Come on, man. That would have been awesome. Uh, who is your NHL champion pick? I'd love to see the Avalanche, but I don't know, man. I don't know how far this team's going to get. They uh, kind of floundered towards the end of the season. Man, uh, I have to think about it. I don't know who can take it to the top. I'd watch out for the Stars. Bruins. I don't want to see those guys, but they could be dangerous. One timer, shot wide. I don't want to see those guys, though, uh, Mikey. -o. Hopefully, they lose early. <laughs> uh, Avalanche take it in near side. Obviously, I want Avalanche, but I would go Dallas or Boston, but. Year of the Rhino. That's right, baby. 2024, the year of the Rhino. Get ready. What's up, Russ the Hunter? 5-1 Avalanche, three minutes left in the second. Let's go. 32 likes. Let's get to 40 for this game. 40? Show me 40. We're here in the second period. Going to the second intermission in a few moments. I'll get a little football pack. And bust that bad boy open. Come on, let's get in the Chuskin hat trick tonight. Come on, Choo Choo. Seventh straight playoff berth for the Avalanche. Glorious. Shot knocked away in front. Near side. Oilers to the blue line. Backhands it down behind the goal line. Behind on and in. The Avalanche take it away. It's the final countdown. Wah, 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 wah. Let's 
And far corner behind the goal line to the near side. Avalon trying to keep it in. McCarr does. Ah, oh, he takes it out. Yeah, I got my schedule for next year, too. Uh, same classes, different setup. So I got my Algebra 2, uh, four classes, and then I end with Algebra 1. So that's nice. So I'll go Algebra 2, Algebra 2, Algebra 2, Algebra 2, and then Algebra 1 to end the day with the ninth graders. But I don't have my a class off reading to lunch, so that stinks. So I don't have that long break to take an extended lunch if I wanted to. But it's all good. Oh, we got a goal by the Ducks over the Knights. one nothing. They're going to the Blackhawks and the Kings. Blackhawks are up one nothing over the Kings. Pow, a little breakaway goal. Your pens did not make the playoffs. Want one. Tried to sneak in, but you got caught. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Didn't work. Sneaky, sneaky. What? What was that noise? Whose footprints are these? Uh, amazing. Out to the point. The Oilers have it stolen by the Avalanche. 23 shots to 13 as the Avalanche drop 5 to 1. It is a beatdown. Minute and a half left in the second, baby. Shot wide. Sliding Oiler. Yeah, buddy. Avalanche have it. Both teams make a little bit of a change. Middle starts. Middle start. Near side of the boards. One timer. Ooh. Back out to the blue line. Behind to the corner. Middle start there. Too many Oilers. Get it to Manson. Walker centering it. Oh, Lekkinen can't get a shot. That's how, how Parisi scored before, but Lekkinen can't get it uh, in there to fight it up and out of play. 43 seconds left in the second. The Pens did not make it. Smash the like button, people. Uh, Avalanche this season against the Jets. 0-3. 17 goals allowed. This is not good. I mean, the playoffs is, is a totally different thing, but 0-3 in the season against the Jets. Gronk spiked that like button. Bam! Do it! Do it now! What are you waiting for? Face off. Or let's have it. Hit it twice. Womp womp. Stop that, Russ. You stop it now. Stop it. Stop that nonsense. Here we go, far side, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano 23 seconds and counting. McCarr, blue line. Wood. Fighting for it. 12 seconds left. Parisi's behind there. McCarr. Taze. Save, rebound. Oh, Parisi tried to kick it in. No can doosville two and one and we're going to the second intermission five to one five to one yeah buddy okay let me go you get one of those packs i'll be back in 30 seconds or less 31 and five the avalanche record is when leading after the second period they're in good shape let me get a football pack Oh, I picked one with a gum. I just grabbed one without looking. It's going to be a terrible pack. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be terrible. But all right. So it's got the gum in there, and it's 1990 tops with the gum. There it is, the tasty gum. 90 tops football. It's over, Rock. It's all over but the crying. It's okay. They're in the playoffs, so there won't be much crying. They're both in the playoffs. So 90 tops football. 
What did we get last time? We got the the Rodney Hampton rookie, which is a cool card. Not worth much, but it's a cool card. We'll see what we get here. And I won't eat the gum. Let me fix it because it's not in. The gum is always in two pieces. There's the gum. Who wants a piece? Who wants some gum? Oh, a Jeff George. That's a funny card, too. Listen to the gum. Listen. Oh, boy. All right, here's the first card. What do we got? Robert Banks on the Browns. Trash. Eric Ball, Bengals. Trash. Man, these cards are pretty ugly, too. Not a fan of these uh, 90 Tops cards. Oh, it's brittle. It's brittle, baby. Michael Stewart. Trash. Can we get anything decent? John Forcade? A quarterback on the Saints? He's got to be worse than uh, worse than Jim Everett. Oh, listen to this. He was on Memphis on the USFL, 84 and 85. And he was on the Birmingham Stallions, 83. But he didn't play. He was on those teams. In the USFL. Trash. John Forcade. Mel Owens. Man, this is brutal. These, these are hot garbage. Who is this? Clarence Verdon on the Colts. So we had a Colt card, but he sucked. I remember him in... Uh, He did a thousand yard season for the Houston, what was that, Roughnecks in the USFL? But he was um, on Tecmo Bowl. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember him on Tecmo Bowl. These old packs. Anthony Carter? Carter! Ridiculous. All right, maybe this one's a good one. Hopefully, this is good. Is this Slaughter? Who is this? Tim McGee? Oh, come on. Tim McGee. Trash. Yikes, man. This is pretty horrendous of a pack. Jesse Tuggle. Man, this is this is like just as bad as another pack. Somebody help me. Scott Davis. Love the hair on that one. That's uh pretty intense hair. Come on. Green Bay Packers at the Magic Man. Oh, we got the Magic Man. A little bit of magic. Trash. This is, this is, <laughs> I'm not having any luck here with the packs. Simon Fletcher. Okay. So Simon Fletcher is a Bronco. Great. He's doing an autograph signing in Denver in a couple weeks. I was thinking about going. But, Yeah. Oh, man, this is – hold on. i got to jump ahead. Since I just mentioned that, the card in the back is a card on Mecklenburg. He's also doing a signing on the same day. How about that? Now, that's something. So they're doing – I think it's May 18th. They're doing an autograph signing. These two linebackers, they both played for the Broncos their whole careers. And uh, they're, they're both in the, um, the Broncos' ring of honor. They're not Hall of Famers, but – Good Broncos players, and when I went to the Avalanche Shining, these two guys are one of the next two. The next two guys are going to be there. Oh, linebacker and defensive end. So Simon Fletcher and Carl Mecklenburg, and Carl Mecklenburg, his nickname is the Albino Rhino. So Carl Mecklenburg is the Albino Rhino. So cool little nickname. So that's with that pack. Oh, who do we got here? What was this? Boomer? The star before Favre. Well, he was the player before Favre. Who is this? Oh, we got a Montana and Boomer. 
Oh, that's a cool one. I don't think I have that one. That'll go to my Montana section of the binder. Montana and Boomer. Because they were, they played each other in what? What Super Bowl? 87? Was that the 87 Super Bowl where uh, the Niners creamed the Bengals? Well, that's a cool one. That one will go into the binder. Who's next? Who is this guy? Can I send you some cards to get signed for you? I don't know what they charge for an autograph yet. Roy Green? That I didn't look up. And Jacob Green. Man, so it wasn't that good of a pack, but that is cool. That's pretty cool that I got these two guys, and, uh, and they just announced the signing for these two guys. So should I go get a mini helmet with these two guys' autographs on them? That would be something. But that's pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. Simon Fletcher and Carl Mecklenburg. But the best card is the Esiason and the Montana. It was 87, right? Nice. That was right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but they were passing leaders in the NFC and the AFC in 1989. So I'm going to go put that baby away. I'm tossing the gum. But all right. Uh, I'll be back, and I'm going to mute it, so you're going to probably have to tell me because I'm going to forget. we got 10 minutes to the third period. I'm going to put a couple of these cards away. Turns out to be better than the baseball pack big time because we got a Montana. Montana, Esiason, and two Don Bronco greats. And then the Colts card was pretty lame. Uh, Clarence Verdine or Verdin, I don't know. It was before my time. But all right, let me go put these little guys away. I'll be back in a few minutes, people. Be back in a few.
Back in action. Sorry, I had to go uh, move over laundry that I forgot that I put on before and uh, take clothes out of the dryer. Totally forgot about that. Almost left them in there. So that's what took up my time. Oh, so, uh, yeah, I put the Joe Montana um, Boomer Esiason card away. I didn't have it. I didn't think I had it. Didn't have it. And uh, I did have the 1990 Tops Joe Montana. So I got the Tops Montana Boomer, which I didn't have. So that was a, a good pull. That was a good pull. Audio Samuel, appreciate it. Hawkins heading out. Good stuff there, Hawkins. We're starting up at 15 seconds for period three in this five to one match. Just about to get started. And so the third period begins. Let's check the score. Still zero. Oh, it's one nothing. Yeah, it's one nothing Ducks over the Golden Knights and one nothing Blackhawks over the Kings. So it hasn't changed since we last checked. I'll catch you later, Samuel. We are covering two football games on Saturday and then the other UFL game on Sunday and the Avalanche playoff uh, game against the, the Jets Sunday night. So action-packed. And so it's underway, and it's behind on and in. All right. Six likes to 40. Let's go. 34 already. I like it, like it, like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. At the red line neutral zone for the Avalanche. They just got to play keep away for 20 minutes. And they go into the playoffs with a nice victory. The choosing with two goals is pretty sweet. That's what we need to see from him going into the Jet series. So good things, good things since... The last week and a half have not been good for the Avalanche. But it's all about getting hot in the playoffs. And that's all it takes. So the Jets have been hot, though. Nachuskin brings it on in. Pass it up top. Middle stop. Oh. Nobody home on the center and pass. Middle stop has it behind the goal line. Fighting for it. Out to the blue line. Knocked away. Shows Walker that had it knocked away. Avalanche still have it, keeping it in. Middle step. Moving down side the new side of the board. Center. Nobody home. Trying to get to. I said nobody home, and he said nobody home. Liar. Don't steal my lines. Wood had a chance, but the Oilers the other way. Nice defense by the Avalanche. Loose puck. Jones gets it. All right. All the way down. Duhame fighting for it. But the Oilers get it and take it away. Come on, can we get to 40 likes on this channel? On this stream, rather? 40 likes. 40 likes. Let's get it. Let's get it. Jones bringing it in. Loses it. Avalanche will make a change. Oilers the other way. <clears throat> Oilers bringing pressure behind on it. Smash him into the boards. Loving it. Near side, out to the blue line, swings it around. Far corner, back behind the net. On and in in trouble. Point, other point. Far side, come on, Avalanche, get it out. I know you're up by four, but still, I want this to be just total destruction going into Sunday. Oilers have it at the red line. They make a little change. So does the Avalanche. Oilers bring it on in near side. Behind on a little wraparound action. Doesn't pass it. Swings back. Center. Nobody home. Deflected up and out of play. Three minutes into the third. Five to one Avalanche. Abigail. Creepy little movie. That's coming out uh, tomorrow. Hmm. That looks kind of cool. Oh, I want to see it. I love movies and scary movies. Oh, it's creepy scary. Abigail, rated R. 
in theaters tomorrow. At least I think it's tomorrow. It's a Friday. I don't know if there was a certain day, a certain date on that. Come on, McKinnon. Let's get number 141 on the season. Give them a goal. Give them a goal for your to pad your stats. I don't know who's in it. Uh, I didn't see any uh, big names. It's just a, I guess, creepy young girl, scary killer, and a bunch of no name, I think. No name other people. It's my guess. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm only glancing at the. The trailer, Rister, ah, goes all the way around. Oh, it was the other way. Onside. Oh, nice shot. Rebound. Nothing happened for the Oilers. Pushes it behind the goal line. All right, far side of the boards. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Swings it around. The shot's wide. All right, Avalanche, it's time. McCarr has it. Resetting. Woo! Oh, baby, he's got it. It's time. 90 points this season from McCarr. Most by defenseman in team history for the Avalanche. Here we go. Walker. Walker's behind the goal line. Center it. Uh, Duhame. Can't get a shot off. Now gets a shot. Saved. And the Oilers have it taken on out. Take it on out. On out. <laughs> Under 15 to play in the third. Avalanche looking good. Soon it's time to rest their players. I just want to see Nutrition get a hat trick. Slapper by Manson. Nasty slapper wide. Man, he like really extended back to, to smash that one. Man, oh man. Avalanche going to need a bunch of heart and a lot of luck in that series because they 0 for 3 against the Jets this season. And it was a brutal 7 0 uh, beatdown in Denver. Last week when we covered that game, it was Ouchtown. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right. McKinnon brings it in near side. Centered. I didn't see who shot that. Taze. Deflected and out of play. Get a comfy pillow. All the cool kids have one. Name three. Name three. I challenge you. They're hitting the like. Uh, they're in the commercials. Hit the like button, follow, and subscribe. We still got people joining in on the Rumble side. Cool, 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 Rumblers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seventeen people over there. Man, oh man! All right, I'll take it. The Rumble side coming through. Me, myself, and. Zai, you, yourself, and Zai. Nope, you said Zai. It's too late. You tried to fix it, but you butchered it. You, yourself, and Zai. Who's Zai? Tell me who Zai is, Dallas. Who's Zai? I need to know. Who is the Zai person that you speak of? Yeehaw, baby. Yeehaw. All right, so I'm going to set up that stream for Sunday. We got the first game set. Hopefully they, they set the rest of it uh, quite soon. But Sunday is set. So I'll create, create that one. Yeah. Autocorrect from eye to eye. Come on, Dallas. You're better than that. You're better than that. Let's go avalanche. Let's go avalanche. 
Let's go. Avalanche. All right. Oh, it's TBS and ESPN. I thought it was TNT. I think, no, I think, uh, oh, that's right. I think um, basketball is TNT. Hockey is TBS. So I should get a lot of the hockey games. But we'll see. But I will try to cover as much avalanche as we can. And Rister Tease. Renton's there. Center to Lekkonen. Can't put it home. Not this late at night. That's right. It's late for you. It's quarter to midnight. Only quarter to 10 for me over here. Rhino time. 27 to 15. Shot advantage by the Avalanche. Domination today. But I mean, McDavid's not playing. The Oilers resting their starters. Uh, the Avalanche should probably be doing so in a little while. <clears throat> they should be resting some players quite soon. Get to that McDonald's there, Dallas. Get to that Mickey D's. What else do they have uh, open 24 hours out there in Canada if there's no Mickey D's? You turn into a pumpkin in 17 minutes. Pumpkin Dallas. Dallas pumpkin girl. It's true. It's true. All right. Neutral zone. Bam. Oiler goes down. Drop like a sack of marbles. Onside. Duhame swings it around. Bad angle shot. Under 13 to play. Just keep cruising, just keep cruising, just keep cruising, swinging around. From the point shot, saved by Allen and held on tight. Man, so that's pretty pretty cool. That football pack I opened had those two Broncos that are doing the autograph signing in two weeks in the same pack. And I was debating whether to get their autographs. But I don't know. I can get them both on like a mini helmet or get their card signed. Let's see, see how much they charge. If they don't charge a lot, then, then I'll get it. But I don't want to spend a lot for those guys. They can't charge too much, right? I hope not. I'm going to go look it up, see what they're charging. Because <clears throat> they're a little bit before my time. They probably were in the Super Bowl against the Giants in uh, that 86 Super Bowl, right? 86 Super Bowl, Giants, Broncos, that 39-20 to 20 game. Oh, middle Stout's going to the box. Middle Stout in the box. Put the bunny back in the box. Yeah, that 39-20 game, those guys should have been on the team. They should have been playing. Sasquatch meal. Stop it. Do you still have that clock, Mama Dukes? That Broncos Giants clock? I think it was a clock with that 39 20 Giants victory. I remember that way back in the day. The 39 20 Giants Broncos. I thought it was a clock or was I'm trying to think of. Think back. Oh, uh, you don't? That was a classic, a classic back in the day. Nurse, power play for the Oilers, Perry. Far side, McLeod. Nurse at the blue line, back to McLeod. At the point, moving forward, Rister behind the net. Fogel, McLeod, Perry moving forward, centering it through the legs. Ooh, dangerous. It was a clock. It was lost in a move. Mm. Lost in a move. Shucks, shucks, shucks. McLeod, Henrique brings it in, Perry. Near side of the boards, McLeod back to Perry out of the zone. Avalanche send it down. A minute done on the power play. Yeah. 
That was a cool little uh, all sides on the avalanche. Cool little clock thing, but Bob. Duhame brought it in, but it was off sides. Your parents sent that clock to you. Yeah, back in, uh, man, was that all the way back in 87, right after they won the Super Bowl? Man. I remember that as a kid, that little guy. Man, oh, man. Avalanche go in, clear it. It's an old school clock. All right, Broberg, Gagner. Avalanche trying to chop it out. Gulak keeps it in. Lekin and falls down, gets back up. And send it down, finally. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Wasn't a cuckoo clock. 15 seconds left to power play. Broberg, Brown, near side, onside. Center it to nobody. Good luck. Brown. To the corner. Back to full strength. That's what's up. Full strength. Avalanche taking on out. Wood to middle stud. Oh, and there was a holding. Come on, where's the hold? The puck is loose. Coming up next on Sports Center. Halfway through third period. Less than 10 to play in this 5 to 1 beatdown. Rest your players. My two new autographs, people. Colton. And licking in that I got this week, Tuesday, Wednesday. Smash that like button. We got to get to 40. Only a few more ways to get to 40 likes, people. I know it's late. I know it's late. All right. Come on, come on, come on, Avalanche. Nine minutes ago, baby. Far side of the boats. Oilers take it away. The end is near. Um, let's check the other scores while the Avalanche have it in their own zone. One to one Ducks and Golden Knights. And one to one Blackhawks and Kings tie game. So the Blackhawks and Kings have eight minutes left in the second period. Ducks and Golden Knights are, are at the second intermission. So tie game for both of them. How about that? How about that? All right. Face off in the near side. Ruh row Oilers have it. And stolen by Colton. Dumps it down. Yeah, they're going to be resting their stars now. Haven't seen McKinnon and McCarr out there, which is a good thing. Rest them up. Rest them up for Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sends it all the way around. Oilers trying to make something happen. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, right, get up, 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 up. I'm on fire. And the Avalanche send it down for an icing. No, they're waving it off. They waved off the icing. They said, no, no, no. Under eight to play. We're getting there, people. Uh oh, far side. Oh, the puck uh, slides on by. Well, let's bring the pressure of the blue line to the point up top. Sends it around. Shot in front. Save on and in. Puck is loose. Oh, it goes wide. Near side in the corner. Perry center it. Knocks it away. Oh, it stays in the zone. Shot save on and in. Come on. Get it out. This is dangerous. Dangerous Sasquatch and the mystery clock. 
on Meatloaf Mountain. What is happening right now, Vince? What is happening? Meatloaf Mountain. That is one mountain I don't want to climb. I don't want to climb any mountains, but that's definitely one I don't want to climb. Come on, the true skin. Get the hattie. Center it taken away. Mm, meatloaf Mountain. The true skin up top. Come on. Ah, uh, center it to middle stat. Nobody home. He should have took the wrister. Should have took the shot. Take the shot. Should have took the shot. Come on. One more light to 35 at least in the next six and a half minutes. All quiet on the western, eastern, and mountain front. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a Sasquatch. Four goals in the first period, and it's only five to one. Come on, get one more. Uno mas. Abs offside. Oh, there was McKinnon out there. Licking in. Off shots. Six minutes left. We're almost done, so people. Last game of the season, people. The last game. Last game of the season. Oh, the Blackhawks scored. They're up 2 1 over the Kings. 2 1 over the Kings. Whew. Oh, baby, she's got it. Right, let me put my pucks away. Boop. Bam. Build that collection, baby. Build that collection. Meatloaf and Sasquatch. If Sasquatch existed, they'd probably love Meatloaf. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Hi, oh, we got 35. Let's get it. Five to forty. I don't know if that's happening. Referee, the linesman goes into the into the <laughs> the bench. He pushes him out of there. Playoffs? I'm talking about playoffs. Playoffs? You kidding me? Oh, they're going to find out tomorrow what, uh, what games they're officiating. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. All right. Oh, shot on Allen saved. It was a weak shot. That shouldn't have been a shot at all. In front, what is – stop relaxing, Avalanche. Their defense is getting lax. Lax, lax, lax. Stop it. Stop it, Vince. Oh, shot in front against on and in. One on one. The puck is still loose on and it's down. Eustace. It's justice. It should be justice. Avalanche are going nuts. On and in beast mode today. Bam. Walker fell down front and center. Nice two, three saves there by On and in. Three, fourth save. Pow, pow, pow. Brick wall tonight. Van Viesbrook style. The Beezer. Brick wall. Brick wall on and in. Get it out of the zone. 
Five minutes left. Do, 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 do. It's the final five minutes in this 5 to one game. Avalanche co-rushing them. It's just a bad game. Sit. Match. It's a beatdown, people. That that uh, four goals in like the first 12 minutes was amazing. So they just rode off of that. Come on, get in the Chuskin hat trick. Come on, the true skin is out there. Come on, shoot it. Oh, he knocked it in, though. I think uh, Colton smacked that in. No goal. Uh, went to the back of the net, but Colton batted it in. Let me see that again. Oh, it was Wood that batted it in. Wood, it bounced off his chest, and he batted it in. I thought it was 20. It was 28. Uh, close, close, close. Nachuskin. Get the hattie. Many to hattie. But I think she saw. And two big horns and a woolly jaw. Woolly bully. Woolly bully. Woolly bully. Woolly bully. Uh, they're reviewing something. I don't know what they're reviewing. Reviewing the beatdown. The beatdown that they're getting. The Oilers getting smacked around. Hey, thanks for that like on Rumble. Bam. Come on, 20 followers to 100 on the Rumble side. We're also on Twitch. We're closing in 160 followers on Twitch. Little by little, we will grow our channels across the internet. I want some pizza. I want some pancakes. Who puts pineapple on pancakes? I put pineapple on pancakes. Do we not pineapple the pancakes? I know we don't pineapple the pizza, but do we pineapple the pancakes? I haven't been to IHOP in a while. Don't know if I want to go this late. I have a 24 hour IHOP that's like four minutes away. Dallas does have McDonald's, 24 hour McDonald's, in two hours away from her. I got one five minutes away. And a 24-hour IHOP, four minutes away. Get everything you need. IHOP and McDonald's. Made it to honey, but I think she's old. Avalanche little kid, hold a little puck. All right, back in action. Back from commercial, four minutes left in regulation time. It's over, Rock. Stay down. And on it and covers it up. And they blow it dead. Do, 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 do. Dave Jackson, the NHL rules analyst. The box zebra. The zebra in the box. Maybe the jersey is bringing us some luck. The McKinnon jersey. All right. Center eyes swooping on in. Centering it. Uh oh, break away. McCoy lost it. Break away. And he can't get a shot off. I guess McCoy had a nice little uh, coverage from behind. Oh, man. I thought it was going to have to be on him with a sweet save or something, but he can't get a shot off on the breakaway. Loving it. McCoy got sloppy. Sloppy, McCoy. Sloppy. Three and a half left. Five to one, baby. 
Five to one. Duham fighting for it in the corner. Out of top. And they keep it in. Far corner. Around. And out of the zone. It's okay. I want to have control with the Golden Corral. No. There will be no Golden Corral. Close is too early, too. Uh oh, shot on an and save covers it up. It's late, Mama Dukes. It's midnight. Oh, I think Dallas turned into a pumpkin. I think Dallas is a pumpkin. Playoffs for the NBA on Saturday and playoffs for the NHL on Saturday. Saturday, Sunday. Playoffs begin. Good stuff. <clears throat> The next couple months, playoffs leading to CFL football. It starts up in June. And the UFC, uh, the UFL championships in June. Beginning of CFL is in June. Out to the points. And waiting, waiting. Sports Center is next. Yeah, Dallas is done. She's a pumpkin. She fell asleep. With a bag of popcorn in her by her side on a comfy pillow. Oilers have it. So now much get it out. Swings it all the way down. Wood gives up chasing and just backs off. Behind on it and leaves it for his players to Nichuskin. Come on, two minute warning. And play continues in hockey. Throw it on Tyson versus Paul. Um, shot saved. Nasty one on one. The choose getting a chance for the hat trick. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, the choose gets so close to a hattie right there. Oh, man. So close, the choose so close. Um, I want to see Tyson destroy him, but he's 55, man. He's 55. And Paul's in his prime. I mean, he's no Tyson, but Tyson's no Tyson anymore. So Kings up 3-1 to one over the Blackhawks, and the Ducks up 3-1 to one over the Knights. So... Tyson's past uh, way past his prime. His prime was over 25 years ago. But Paul's in his prime, but Tyson's a beast. That's if he can turn it on, if he can go back to that old school Tyson mentality. He's definitely uh, doesn't have that killer instinct like he did from like 20 to 25 where he was just – Man, he was an animal. But now he's like, he went from being, you know, a killer, a tiger. And now he's like an indoor cat that tries to be a tiger. Tyson's an indoor cat. If I said that to him, he'd punch me in the face. <laughs> oh, man. That's something I could say here, but I would never be able to say Tyson's uh, an indoor cat. Oh, boy. You think Paul's going to beat him and Tyson will uh, be his coach, just like Rocky? Deflected away. One minute left. Let's go. Tyson, the indoor cat, against Paul. That's how we got to rile him up. We got to tell him that he's an indoor cat so he flips out and turns into the tiger that he once was. Yeah, Paul's tough, but Tyson's Tyson. But when he's a couple steps slower at 55, with, I mean, if it goes past a few rounds, Tyson's done. So I don't know how many rounds it's it's set for, but kind of a chance for a goal right there. I haven't seen him in the last. Uh, few weeks so i don't know is he fat now i don't know 
He's probably bulking up so he can knock out Tyson. Add that to his resume. Six seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, five to one. It's Dunzo for the Oilers. Game, set, match. Five to one victory for the Avalanche. The playoffs begin Saturday and Sunday. So the Avalanche will be playing the Jets on Sunday. That'll be my next hockey stream. I got UFL this weekend on Saturday and Sunday as well. Three football streams and one hockey stream. Five to one Avalanche for the victory. Let's go. It's nighttime. It's relaxed time. It's time to wind down and back to work tomorrow. Woo wee. Thanks for coming out, Rhino Nation. Appreciate it. Going out? I don't know. I might just relax. I do want some pancakes, though. I, I got to find time to go. But I think I'm just going to take it easy tonight. Work tomorrow, full day. Maybe over the weekend sometime. We'll see. Mike Tyson punch out. Great game. Classic game. I got that baby in my collection. I got the old school uh, gold Zelda. Legend of Zelda, and I got the Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Those are two beast uh, Nintendo games. But all right, football day all week all year. Thank you so much, Rhino Nation. You guys are the best around. I'll be back Saturday and Sunday for Streams. Get ready for the playoffs, baby. Get ready. All right, people, signing off. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. I'll see you Saturday. Um, that's it. That's all I got. That's all she wrote. Big win for the Avalanche. Big game from the True Skin. Hopefully he gets hot for the Jets. Hopefully he stays hot for the Jets. Hopefully the Avalanche can beat the Jets. All right, everybody. Thanks again. You're the best. Appreciate it. Shout out. Make sure that like button, follow button, subscribe button, wherever you're watching before you run away. Hit that button. Hit that like button. All right, people. Signing off. Deuces. See you later. Adios, Renovation.